the report is this morning that Calvin Johnson, one of the great wide receiver talents in the history of the National Football League, uh, is going to retire. And it's interesting that Calvin Johnson, with a lot of legs and a lot of plays left, is going to retire. And Barry Sanders, in his prime, with a lot of years left, retired, both from Detroit. What a shock. In both instances, it was a massive waste of talent. Calvin Johnson and Barry Sanders with the Detroit Lions played for 19 years and had one playoff win. One. The moderately talented Deion Branch, 17 playoff appearances with Seattle and New England and two rings. That's the difference. Years ago, I took a lot of heat. And I said, I am for LeBron James leaving Cleveland. And it's something that I have noticed over the years. I tend to be a little more pro player than pro owner. Owners can make money forever. Players have even a shorter lifespan than actors. And, and for female actors in Hollywood, you got like 12 years and then they replace you. Guys can do it forever. But Calvin Johnson and Barry Sanders, I would argue the two greatest pure talents coming out of college at their respective opinions. I've said before, Barry Sanders is the best college football player outside of John Elway and Andrew Luck I've ever seen. Calvin Johnson, Barry Sanders, 19 years, one playoff win. This is why I'm for any free agent leaving. And it goes to prove a couple of things. Number one is no matter how gifted, how great, how talented, as an athlete, you can't change a culture. It doesn't matter how great you are as an actor. You can't take a bad script from a bad movie studio and turn it into Raging Bull and turn it into Avatar, turn it into whatever's popular. You can't do it. You are limited as an artist. And athletes and actors are really artists. They're, they're, every morning they wake up, there's the canvas. They put something on it that you can't interpret. You can only guess. And so when Calvin Johnson leaves, like Barry Sanders, a Detroit Lion, in his, outside of his prime, but lots of years left, they could have both been very productive players. Had they gone to the right system, the right culture, the right franchise, the right owner, they'd be Super Bowl players instead between the two, almost two decades, one playoff win. It is why National Letter of Intent Day is Wednesday, when the best high school football players in America on Wednesday choose their schools. And I've said this for years and years, go to the best schools. Go to Alabama, go to Ohio State, go to Michigan, go to Notre Dame, go to USC, go to, go to all the best schools. Why? Because you will not be able to change a culture by yourself. You might as well go and play at Stanford with other great players and great coaches and a tradition now in the last five, six, seven, eight years of winning. If you want to go to Purdue, knock yourself out. If you think you can change the world, knock yourself out. But one person can't change a culture. And an NFL ownership like Cleveland or for years like Oakland or for years until recently like Cincinnati or Jacksonville, you're completely limited as an actor with a bad script and with a bad studio. So I look at Calvin Johnson, good for him, taking control of his life. Some people, like they did with Barry Sanders, will complain. But you know what? Why take a beating? Why not, with your 75 million bucks, go out and own your life, own your direction? You're powerless playing for that organization.